So you're thinking about selling your home here in Boca Raton, but you wanna avoid the three biggest mistakes that sellers make all the time. Well, in this video, we're gonna go over what those three biggest mistakes are and how you can avoid them. Hey, this is Andy with the Mandel team at Remax, and we get so many calls, texts, and emails every single day from people who are relocating here to South Florida from across the country and across the world, and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about making a move in South Florida, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. You can even send a smoke signal or carrier pigeon. However you wanna communicate, we got your back when moving to South Florida. And while we're at it, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page and like and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. So let's get into it. The first mistake we see sellers make all the time is not looking up an agent's reviews prior to interviewing them or to hiring them. So Google is a great place you can start. People Google everything. So if the realtor doesn't have a profile on Google, that could be a red flag, but check to see if there's any reviews on Google. Another place you can see reviews is Zillow. Zillow is not just a great place for buyers, but for sellers to start their search for an agent. So you can go to Zillow, you can go to Agent Finder and type in any agent's name. What, that, what Zillow should show you is their sales record, so how many homes they've sold recently, where they've sold homes, and it'll let you see reviews. So see what, your, see what that realtor's past clients are saying about them. It might enlighten you and open your eyes and help you make a decision one way or the other. Mistake number two that we see sellers make all the time is not hiring a realtor who specializes in their area. So the beach area is significantly different from single family houses out in the suburbs. So if you're looking to sell your house, you might wanna make sure you're working with someone who has a familiarity with your neighborhood and has sold similar homes to yours. So someone who specializes in selling condos on the ocean might not necessarily be the best realtor to sell your big home in the suburbs. Make sure you're looking at that realtor's track record on where they sell their houses, as well as how many they've sold and how recently they've sold them in your area. If they don't have a big track record of selling homes in your area, make sure you're asking them what they're gonna to do to market your home to find buyers other than just put the home in the MLS. And mistake number three that we see people make all the time is hiring a part-time agent or a friend or your uncle Bob who has this license. Sometimes that could work well and it might not be a big deal, but just because someone has their real estate license doesn't mean they're a good full-time professional active realtor who knows what they're doing. Realistically, this is a relatively easy business to get into, but just because you have your real estate license doesn't mean you really know what you're doing. You wanna make sure that you're working with someone who really knows the ins and outs in the business, sells a lot of homes, and has sold them recently because the industry and technology changes so quickly. Make sure you're making the right decision for you. Another thing to be cautious of, if, God forbid, you have to fire your realtor because they're not selling the house, you're not getting any showings, or you're just not getting along, that might make it for a very, very awkward Thanksgiving if it's your uncle or your friend or your family. So make sure, sometimes it's better to not mix business with family. Make sure you're hiring a full-time professional. Make sure you're uh, interviewing a bunch of people. See their marketing plan. Make sure it's right for you. If you're thinking about selling your home here in South Florida, we'd love to interview for the job. Give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Thanks for tuning in.